<laughs> All right now. So talking about Aurora in Harlem, I want to know who would you say is your ideal reader for this book? My ideal reader is someone that wants an understanding about my era, a real understanding. Not a keyboard gangster that's gonna look for shit to criticize. I'm gonna be hard on them because I hate a fake nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> Meaning you see him in person, they shake your hand and want an autograph. You know what I mean? But then they behind the thing talk, oh, did you see he has something in his teeth? You know what I mean? This nigga stop looking at my mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> but my ideal reader is just somebody who wanna elevate themselves, man, and wanna and wanna know about the era. And I say that because me, I love reading books about other other eras. Like I, I love Roots. My favorite book is um is Queen by Alex Haley, you understand? Um, I love Wilbur Smith, how uh, he writes about all the ancient Egypt and the, and the ships and the Courtney's and you know what I mean, from the Ingman, you know, with the, with the shipping tycoons and you know, even Jackie Collins. I just love anything dealing with another era that I could escape and go back to, you know what I mean, and see how they lived. So you want people, so you want your reader to be able to indulge in an era and the era that you are able to provide them because then they'll be able to understand me and others like me. You know right. what I mean? I mean, I came up during so the time. You understanding. That's, a, you, you that's dope. You I understand? That's dope. No, I'm just saying because like I said, I got grandkids. You know what I mean? I got grandkids. And I strongly believe if I wouldn't have gotten out of prison, you know what I mean? A law forbid, and I would have died in prison, I believe that they would have been poisoned all kinds of ways about who I am as a man. You know what I mean? Did you fear that? Yes, I feared it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I was raised, you know, to have honor, respect, and that's all I need to die with. I could die right now today, and I'm happy. You know what I mean? Right. Because everyone looking, my kids, my grandkids, they know I'm a man. If you're a man, or you're a strong woman, you know I'm a strong man. You know what I mean? And you already know that I stand for something. And that's why y'all sitting here watching. And that's all I want. You know what I mean? That's what any warrior wants i was raised a warrior i didn't choose to be a warrior you know what i mean i was raised to be a warrior you know what i mean and i survived and like i said i lost my brother doing that i'm gonna continue to say that rest in peace khalif you know what i mean i lost a lot of all the good brothers tom eric you know what i mean uh, 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 um joe you know what i mean I, I i could go on and on you understand what i'm saying but you know i'm here you know what i mean because i'm a warrior and they warriors, you know what I mean? But you got casualties of war. You understand what I'm saying? It hurt me like a mother when my brother died, but that's casualty of war. You know what I mean? Some of us live and some of us die. You know what I mean? It, 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 it might sound heartless or emotionless, you know what I mean? But in a warrior's world, that's what it is. You know what I mean? And it's and, your experience though. It's the experience that you have experienced and nobody can speak to that but yourself. So, you know, like move, staying on the readers here, I wanted to ask, what action would you say that you want your readers to take from this book? For what do you mean, what action? Like, how would they translate what they learn, what they indulge in, what they acknowledge here, what they take in? How do they? How do you feel like they can put that into action somewhere? Do you feel like the knowledge that you're giving them can set them on a better path, can enlighten them, like you say? Like, what do you feel? What action can they take from your book? What reward is there at the end of this? I think, I think one of the rewards, what I think, you know what I mean? I mean, that's just my opinion. Yeah. Is, is that I'm sure you're gonna hear about all the yeah the, the feedback once it, you know. Yeah. You but my thing is in Aurora and Harlem, man. In my life, you know what I mean. I, um, I didn't have love. You know what I mean. I couldn't spell love. I didn't know what love was. I didn't know what love smelled like. <laughs> you know what I mean. And I didn't care. You know what I mean. So I just moved on like a soldier. You understand what I'm saying? So nothing, nothing moved me emotionally. So nothing stopped me. So that's why y'all saying that I'm grinding, I, I just hit the ground and kept running. You know what I mean? Because that's the way I was raised. You know what I mean? I wasn't raised to stop and, do, you know, I'm going to say it and y'all might not like it, waste time with the romance. The romance that starts after I get my finances. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's when I, I begin my romance. Until well, for I you, well, for you, it seems like unconditional love was not what you was very, I guess, prioritizing there. So at the end of the day, Money was your world. No, nah, it's not money. No, or, no, 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 or no. Or no. success. No, and, and it's success? not even success. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why you need to read the book, then you understand what I went through because it wasn't about money. I didn't care about money. I had way more than enough money to have been stopped a hundred times over. You understand what I'm saying? But I had no one. So I did that to not stop to think and feel the pain 
of having no one. Mm. Mm. So I just kept moving. So I didn't have to feel the pain. A lot of people can relate to that. You know what I mean? Right. Like right now, me coming out here, I got thrown in this world. After 26 years of fighting like a mother to get out of prison. Mm. Now when they find this out and let me out, they got this killer out there called Corey. <laughs> no, I'm serious. And they throw me out here in this. Right. You understand? So this is another test. Right. If I can survive that war. Now you locked up with all of us. You, you, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's like crazy because no one seemed to understand, you know, that after all this time, they put me out here and all of this is new to me. I don't know what, I don't know nothing about this. You know, I'm keeping it real. I don't know nothing about this, but okay. I'm taking my time and learning it. And I know how powerful it is. Right. You know, they use these to rig up bombs. To detonate bombs. And they do a lot of shit with that shit. Man. And they use this to, to, to monitor your heart rate if you live or die. Mm -hmm. So it's used for good and bad. It just depends on the person whose hands it's in. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? So I'm taking it to another level. But y'all look at this, and like I said, this is a bad mother right here. I spoke on this when I was in powerful. Florida. It is powerful. No, but no one thinks about that. It is powerful. And like I said, this came from the World Wide Web. This is the World Wide Web. That means you can go anywhere in the world like a spider web. You understand what I'm saying? But you have to know how to maneuver through these webs in order to get your riches from this and to be able to survive from this and keep your health from it when they hook it up to your heart and your little Apple Watch DP201 got on his wrist. You know what I mean? I didn't even buy one of them yet. You know what I mean? Because I don't need to know when I'm going to die. I don't need to know my heart stop. Let that shit just stop and save me from this misery, man, called life. You know what I mean? Until then, I'm going to do me. You know what I mean? But like I said, I can't stop to sit back and focus on, you know what I mean? And think about, you know, that I was dumped out here at this time because it'll drive me mad. Man. And I said it before and I'm saying it again because I keep my joint 100. You understand what I'm saying? If I stop to think about what's going on in my life right now, after what I just went through for 26 years and then being, and being, being thrown into this, which... It's a reward and it's a curse. You know what I mean? It's a reward because I'm free, but it's a curse because at any minute I could catch this shit and die. Like the other thousands of people. A hundred thousand. So I think we're gonna start off light and we're gonna say if you had an intro music, right? For yourself, every time you walked in a place, which song would it be and why? You know, I always had one in my head when it first came out. That was back in 1996. No lie. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, Return of the Mac. What? <laughs> okay, The no. Return of the Mac. Y'all remember that? Because it of had a course. nice little hook in it. Oh, and all that. Ah. That's all Dan, all Dan got to do play that joint so they can hear and know what Return of the Mac is. Wow. But that was that joint. Wow. Because they're saying that he's been gone a while and he's back and he's going to take over and, you know, and he's unique. Right. You know what I mean? I like that. That was dope. Yeah. That was light, but that was nice. That was mm. dope. All right. All right. Let's start off with a controversial question here. Oh. Uh, but it, it, it's a general. Do you think a leader should be feared or loved? Feared. Yeah? Why? Because if he fears you, he's going to respect you and he's going to love you where he's not going to try and cross you as fast as he would if he loved you, then that means he don't fear you, he don't respect you, and he don't think you shit. You know what I mean? I didn't, you didn't even give me a maybe of a little bit of two. Nah, it ain't no goddamn maybe in there. Because when you're dealing with that, you're dealing with, you know what I mean? You, you, you're dealing with what they call that, uh, uh, kindness for weakness, all of that. You Is that how mean? you see it? You find kindness to be weakness? Nah, I know. That's how people take it. People I don't take it that way. I'm saying. Of, in the line of power, as you stood back in the days at some height of power, right? Mm -hmm. Would you say that it was better to be feared than love? Yeah, but I, I, I mastered a way to blend the two. All right. You know that's what I'm saying? Like, I was looking for that balance because I feel in my... No, but that's that what I gave easy. it. That's how I survived. Everybody loves you, Nick. You know what I mean? But right. the ones that had crossed me know I'm not the one to cross. Right. All right. You know what I mean? Or okay. know someone that knows someone that did. You know? All right. Let's do a fun question. Another fun question. Oh, God. <laughs> fun trivia. No, 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 no. Okay. If you can meet and have dinner with any person who lived, who would it be and why? Oh, Jackie Collins. 
Ooh. Jackie Collins. That's my baby. I was mad when she passed. You was mad? I was furious when she passed. We heard that, furious. Oh, man. Jackie Collins is the best that ever done it. Why? What was she represented for you? Because I read every last one of her books. All her books, it takes you there. It transforms you. She gets into your head and pulls you into hers. Mm, would you say that you did that with your book? Oh, yes. I know I did. You feel like she has inspired you as a writer? Oh, she definitely did. It's because of her why I decided to write. Wow. You know what I mean? I it's love nice to know her. you was inspired by a female, being a female. I appreciate yeah. that. I think that's uh, dope. I mean, you know, you know, but Jackie's the best, man. She's the best, you know? Uh, the first one was Chances. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I read I read like 20 of her, her books. 20? From, yeah, from June to October. And each book is over 500 pages. You read the 20 books within that time Within frame? that time. I was in a hole. <laughs> he said I had time. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? And I that's why time. I love her. Because she took me through that rough she time. You oh, oh time. she was the best. Come I on. love her with all my heart. Oh. You know what I mean? I, I could almost say I don't know where I'd be at today if it wasn't for her doing that time. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, she really knows how to allow you to escape into her words. Okay. The best that ever done it. Let me give you how my little night was. I, I get up about 6 o'clock around dinner time mm. i get up work out they got a shower in the cell so i get up work out you know then i eat and then i eat and uh you know and then kick you know might kick it with my neighbor in the vent you know in what the mean? Vet, wait in the vent meaning like y'all yeah. chilling by the vent and y'all conversating yeah i'm in my cage he in his cage Word. So, like, if you're making you say you, we hold the reason. We yeah. Hold the reason. Yeah. Know you know what I mean? But he's over here. I'm over here. And we, hey. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? What you do last night? Man, that bitch Jackie Collins, the motherfucker. That's so funny. You know what I mean? About the authors, I Yeah. Guess. <laughs> and then, true. you know, most of them is reading the hood novels. You know what I mean? So, they might be like, oh, man, that joint. Uh, 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 um, but Quan was like that. Because he's a good, big writer. I love Quan, too. He's from Harlem. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. And um, another one, Al Sadiq Banks. There's a fucking couple of hood joints I read, and, and, and the best hood joint I ever read is uh, the twins that was married to Miss T, uh, uh, um, Bowen and, and his brother. I have, I have. Where can you find these? Let me say. No, listen, not, man. They're that not book, as accessible listen, as you that think book they are. Is, no, listen, I don't know about all that, but that book, the best mm -hmm. hands down urban novel I ever read. Don't. After I read that book, I stopped reading urban novels. That's how good that book was. That's a strong. Because because it was written on a whole nother plane and dealing with the urban lifestyle. And it started from the underground. But they elevated, I don't know if it because the two minds together as one, but it was classic. And a lot of people don't know about it. It's the best book. And it got three parts of trilogy. Oh. The best book. If you want a book to buy, and I'm even plugging their book, because I'm telling you, they down on 12th Street got the fish joint. They got the best hood novel of all time. You know what I mean? The best hood novel of all time. If I had somebody, if I wanted somebody to rewrite, and I even asked them to um, write over my complete, my complete life story, I let it be them two young men. That's dope. You know what I mean? Yeah. I let it be them two. But you know, definitely they, connected with them then. Yeah, no, no, way. no. I'm telling you, you know, the best. So after yours is produced, you think that one should be produced too? Oh yeah, they can produce theirs first. I don't care. I mean, either, either way, I'm gonna get mine. No, I'm just saying, like, no, no, I hear you. you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, no, no, I definitely would like to like to see theirs in a big screen. That joint there is classic, man. Mm. You know what I mean? But you know, I think you put the people onto something right now. I, I never. I think I put them onto a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my bag, they were my cocky and shit. Uh, cocky for nothing. You know, <laughs> but you know it is what it is. But uh, you know, like I said, yeah, that's one. But Jackie Collins, man, she's a goddess. You know? Yeah, I love her. I kept saying when I go home, I want to meet her so I could tell her how much she helped me. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm That's telling how she, much she connected, yeah. Yeah, she is, she is my best, my best literacy friend. You know what I mean? And like I said, all her books is over 500 pages. You know what I mean? And you read 20 books in the life. <laughs> in like three months, like 90 days. Jackie Collins uh, 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 um, is like... I used to get up at eight, you know, get up six, you know, work out, 
um, take a shower, then eat my lunch and my dinner that I put up all during the day because I slept all day. I go to bed about eight o'clock in the morning and then I don't get up till six in the evening. That's how a majority of do shoe time. Why? <laughs> I'm so curious, but we don't, I think we run out of time. No, I'm gonna get to you quick. We yeah. do shoe time that way because it's better because we sleep past the bullshit of the administration coming through with the lies. Cause they come through during the day and all they do is lie. So if you OG- That's how you guys kind of go on strike. No, nah, I don't need no strike. Well, like I worry about self, myself. It's like, it's like I mean, I don't, know, strike. I don't know how them dudes do it. When I'm saying me as myself, oh, you know what I mean? The way I handle it, I just don't talk to them. Mm -hmm. They bring me back there, whatever time they give me, I lay down and I shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's it. And I, I don't bother them as long as they don't bother me. When they ready, they can open the cage and let me out. But I feel like less of a man to say, hey, when do I get out? Hey, why am I back here? Whether it's good in intel or bad intel, either way, you're back there. Now sit back there and let the process play out. And you hold your pride, because you are prideful. You understand what I'm saying? And I never bow down to them like that. Nah, right, lock me up. Because they, they like to tell you on the counter, oh, I'm going to lock you up. I'm going to lock you up. I'm already locked up. You know what I mean? You've been locked up. You're just in a bigger cage. Well, you're still in a cage. Because you're stuck in your little radius of what you do. You know what I mean? Within your little period of time. So you, we incarcerate ourselves in our own communities. Yep, certain ways. You understand? Right. Yeah, so it don't matter if my cage is small and your cage is two towns. Right. You only go from this one town to that town. You know how I many people never even left their town? A lot. You know how I many people never even left their block? Too many. Never left their block? Mm -hmm. I know. I've experienced that. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? You can't hold them, you know what I mean? It is what it is, you know? But anyway, that's it. Let me sign off. All right?